Meghan and Harry's son Archie Harrison's heartwarming after-school ritual. The Sussex family recently returned to California. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are raising their two children, Archie and Lilibut. At their beautiful Montecito home and their oldest is thriving at his preschool. Prince Harry and Meghan's adorable three-year-old boy's loving school and all the excitement it has to offer. And his mom has ensured their ride back home is also an important and heartwarming learning curve. In a recent eye-opening interview with The Cut for the New York Times, the mom of two took journalist. Alison P. Davis, with her to collect Archie from his school and she documented their ritual in the article which was published. During the ride, she wrote, if he, Archie, forgets to say please or thank you, Megan reminds him of the manners that make the man. She then added, at a stoplight, she, Megan, reaches into the trunk and produces a brand new black backpack and hands it to her security detail to give to an unhoused man on the corner. They are teaching Archie that some people live in big houses, some in small, and that some are in between homes. They made kits to pass out with water and peanut butter crackers and granola bars. I ate one Archie contributes. The sweet routine will, no doubt, continue now that the family are back home in California. After attending the funeral of Prince Harry's grandmother Queen Elizabeth II, the couple were away for 17 days in total, having visited Manchester and Germany for charity events before they heard of the monarch's sad passing. It's believed Archie and Lilibert stayed home in the US during this time. So we can only imagine how the big family reunion took place on their return. Meghan has revealed that Archie is now ready to be full-time at his school. While Lilibet, is now 15 months old and likely tottering around the enormous family house. It's the age where toddlers are into everything, so the little girl is bound to be keeping her parents Meghan and Harry on their toes. Royal historian Robert Hardman tells that Queen Elizabeth sincerely hoped fissures could be fixed. Queen Elizabeth's hope never waned that strained relations could be relieved within the royal family. Historian Robert Hardman says that the late monarch would have hoped that a grandson Prince Harry could repair his relationship with his father, King Charles III, and older brother, Prince William. The Queen adored Harry right to the end, and Harry adored her, the author of Queen of Our Times. The life of Elizabeth II says of the special bond Harry and his grandmother shared. I think she was one of the condits between Windsor and California. And it would have been one of her dearest wishes that they patch things up. Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markel, have become distant from other family members in recent years. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped back from their senior royal roles in early 2020, and have resided in Meghan's home state of California since. Prince Harry and Meghan had been in Europe for a series of charity visits when Queen Elizabeth peacefully died. At age 96 at Balmoral Castle in Scotland, as after her daughters publicly announced they were concerned for her health. The California couple remained in the UK for the Queen's funerary events for the following two weeks and travelled back to US after the funeral. Now, those close to the King and Queen Camilla hope, for the sake of the new reign if not salvaging family ties, that Prince William and Prince Harry will reconcile. You'd think that all members of the family would unite and support the King, especially, a source close to King Charles tells. Perhaps some wounds can be healed in the process. It would likely have been Queen Elizabeth's dying wish. She knew that conflicts were a part of life, and she didn't hold grudges. Most of all, she wanted to see her family happy, the insider adds. Samantha Cohen, the Queen's former assistant private secretary, attended Queen Elizabeth's committal service at Street George's Chapel at Windsor Castle on Monday. She tells that the royals looked tired as the gravity of the grief finally hit. It was a shock, and now it's real. And the real morning starts, Cohen says. The reality of life without the Queen starts now. Prince Harry and Princess Charlotte shared a sweet moment. During the committal ceremony for Queen Elizabeth II at Street George's Chapel in Windsor Castle on Monday, Harry and his wife, Meghan, were seated in a front row next to his niece, who attended the solemn service with her father Prince William, mother Kate Middleton and brother Prince George as part of official events on a final day of public mourning. For the late monarch, who died at age 96 on the 8th of September at Balmoral Castle in Scotland, dressed in black and wearing a diamond horse show brooch to honour her great-grandmother's love of horses. 
Princess Charlotte adjusted her hat while seated in the pew directly in front of the Queen's coffin. Harry can be seen in footage of the service watching his niece, who caught his eye before they shared a quick smile. While their younger brother, four-year-old Prince Louis, was likely considered too young to participate in the Day of Remembrance. A tribute to the Queen, George and Charlotte were incredibly well behaved. At the state funeral inside Westminster Abbey, according to attendee Mark Tewkesbury, a member of the Order of Canada. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.